My favorite movie to watch with my kids or watch as a family is Disney's Inside Out. It is a nice story, there is humor, and most of all, I love the message of this film, which is a super important lesson for the mental well being of not just kids, but also adults. So even if you don't have kids, I highly recommend this movie. In this movie, the feelings of joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust are represented as characters. Memories are represented as balls that either get discarded if they're not important, or get stored in long-term storage, or get stored as core memories, which are memories of events that made a deep impact on us. Then there are personality islands, for example, Friendship Island, Honesty Island, Goofball Island, which represent the different aspects of personality of Riley, an 11-year-old girl. This physical representation of what goes inside our brain is just so creative and beautiful, and I am in awe of how the writers came up with it. I must say that to me, a lot of Disney movies feel very similar to each other, but this one definitely stands out from the rest of them. The big lesson we learned from this movie is the importance of the feeling of sadness. Usually we consider happiness as the supreme emotion and anytime we feel sad or our kids feel sad, we want the feeling of sadness to be quickly replaced by happiness because Sorrow, ours, and our kids, especially our kids, is uncomfortable. We often don't let our kids experience sadness fully, but all feelings need to be processed fully. If we just let our kids ride the wave of sadness, sadness will go away. But if we rush them to happiness, that unprocessed sadness will still stay in the background in their mind and cause potential issues for their mental health. The best thing we can do when our kids are sad is to listen to them and hug them and accept that they need time to process their sorrow and give them that time and tell them it's okay to not feel okay. Do not put pressure on them to be happy and cheerful all the time. It is hard, I know, especially as a mom, to see tears in your children's eyes is one of the most painful things. And when I feel that pain, my first thought is to immediately try to make them happy by distracting them or giving them a treat. But with practice, I'm learning to not act on that first thought. I say to myself, it's okay for my kids to feel sad. Sadness is as important to feel as happiness. By the way, giving your kids candy when they're sad, and I have been guilty of doing that myself. I'm not judging anyone here. That's one of the worst things you can do because you're setting themselves up to become emotional eaters and binge eaters as adults. When they grow up and they feel sad, they're going to remember the time they got hurt and mom gave them a cookie and they felt better. Because that childhood association is going to stick with them. So anytime they feel low as adults, they will binge eat on cookies to remind them of mom's love. I digress, but long story short, watch this movie, it is amazing. See you in the next video, keep growing.